Good morning everybody. It's 11 o'clock on 25th of March. I had to check then. It's a Wednesday. Um, and it's lovely to see you guys. This is our Facebook Live and we're going to be doing Pilates for All. So um, I'm a little bit early. I always come on a few minutes early just because it takes us all a bit of time to um, get ourselves sorted out. So just while we're waiting, I'm going to um, remind you what you need. I've got a yoga mat. You don't have to have a mat at all. If you've got carpet, then you'll be absolutely fine. Um, but a, a yoga mat is a nice idea, or any kind of, or just a towel, it would be fine. Um, I've got a bottle of water, and I would suggest you have some water with you, keep yourself nice and hydrated. Music's just gonna be in the background. If, if you've got like some favorite music you would like to use, just mute me and um, put your own, actually put your own music on. So don't feel you've got to tolerate my music. Um, with Facebook, live you can't play everything I'd like to play some music maybe you recognize but we can't because of licensing so that's why we've got um this kind of general stuff on I've got a bit of hay fever this morning so if I start sneezing don't panic and rush away from your cameras your your, your iPhones whatever it's just got a bit of a hay fever been out with a dog it's a gorgeous gorgeous day isn't it if you haven't been out yet go out it's absolutely lovely obviously respecting all the rules hi Rachel have you got your children with you again today yeah, Jensen and Zara, give me a wave if you're there. Cool, so the class today, Pilates for All, is what I, it's what it says on the tin. So if you haven't done Pilates before and you're thinking, oh, don't know what that's all about, give it a go. Lots of moves, if you've done any kind of exercise classes, be it yoga, Pilates, aerobics, any of the stuff you see in the gyms, lots of the moves you see in those are taken from Pilates and Pilates was invented in the 50s so you know it's not that old um, whereas yoga obviously is ancient so lots of different influences come into Pilates and obviously I'm trained in other things too so you'll find that there's other stuff in there that you might think well that's not very Pilates that's because I've put my little personal twist on it um, just Zara Jensen's playing with his Lego Lego that's a good idea I was knitting last night taught myself to knit it's pretty awful. I might even show you if I'm brave enough next time. But uh, I, I'm taught myself to knit and uh, it's taking me an age. But it's quite nice, quite therapeutic. So, um, right, so we are going to be doing the class in a moment. As with most classes that I run, I'm going to give us a couple of minutes for people to join, to sort themselves out, to clear the space. You see today, I've moved the sofa back. I think the last broadcast I was a bit washed out. I know I, mean, I might be a bit pale, but I'm not that pale. So I've kind of shuffled the furniture around. So you might need to do that. Make sure you have room to stretch. We will be stretching and we're doing some balancing. Now Pilates is great for our strength, our balance coordination. And because it's um, quite chilled, it's also really good for our mental health. And a lot of us are feeling pretty stressed, even if we're not admitting it, we are. So this kind of class is perfect to calm everything down and um, I hope you'll join me in it. Um, so, like I said, I've got a mat, I've got bare feet. If you wanna wear shoes, that's fine. Um, and I've got a drink of water. So it's just one minute past 11, and we'll start getting ourselves organized, working on posture, as people gradually join us. Oh, come. Lovely. So, the first thing we're gonna do is think about the beautiful Pilates posture. I'm going to turn the music down a bit. My, I'm a bit croaky. It's that time of year for me with hay fever, so I need to protect my voice. So, lovely and tall. Now, when we're standing tall, give your shoulders a little roll back. We want to work tummy muscles, so I want you to think about pulling in round here. So take a breath in. As you exhale, pull your stomach up and in. And then relax. Oh. And again, so you can put your hand there and feel it's working. Take a breath in, relax your tummy to begin with. Then as you exhale, pull your tummy up and in. Now yesterday I promised we'd talk about the pelvic floor. And we have got some kids watching. So what I'm gonna say about the pelvic floor is it's the muscles between your legs that keep everything up. And we're gonna draw from the back through to the front, pulling up our pelvic floor. Like you try not to have a wee and then let everything release. And again, so on the inhale, you're relaxed. On the exhale, tummy pulls in, pelvic floor draws up. It's quite difficult, it's, it's quite hard to get the coordination, so one to practice at home. Okay, so standing beautifully tall, breathe in. 
exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale. And we're going to squat. So breathe in first. And then pop yourself back in a little squat. And then up you come. Now you probably heard my knee crack there. So don't be dismayed if you hear either my bones cracking or your own. As long as it's not hurting you, don't stress about it. It's fine. Got some people who've arrived. Keep squatting everybody else. Rachel's here. Samantha Risborough. Hiya, Sam. Lovely to hear from you. How's things? Funny, we were, we were driving in cars on the motorway yesterday and we kept overtaking each other, didn't we, Sam? <laughs> so, I hope everything's fine at home. Hey, Nikki, good to hear you're back again. There were some nice pictures on there, lovely. Good, so just keep joining us, guys. We're just still doing the warm-up. So we're thinking about posture, tummy's pulled in, and when you're ready, we're gonna start some nice, gentle squats. Squats are such a great exercise. They are fantastic for thigh, bottom, tummy strength. They're one of those ones, when you see the magazines, like have a bottom like J-Lo, one of those, um, these are the exercises. So if you do want a bottom like J-Lo, <laughs> now's the time to get working on it. Inhale on the rise, exhale on the lower. And you'll notice my shoulders are relaxed. I'm not all hunched up, I'm nice and relaxed. One more, good, okay. Shift your body weight across, we're gonna go straight to a balance. So we're gonna lift one leg off the floor and then pop it down. And of course, hello, more people are joining us. Keep going with those balances, guys. Who else is here? Deb Sewer, hiya, Deb. Nice to see you too. Hope you're working hard. Good morning, beautiful morning. Have you been out with your dogs yet? I've been out with Boo. It's absolutely glorious out there. Andy, oh, love your heart. Thank you, someone sent me a heart. That's lovely. Do send me some emojis. Makes me laugh. <laughs> so, side to side. Like I say, I've moved my furniture back Nice thumbs up from someone to give myself, myself a bit more space. Good. And this is a good point for us to kind of get together on a regular basis. As we have, some of us I know are working incredibly hard and we're still working our normal daily lives. And well done you guys, keep it up if, you, if you're meant to be doing that. Um, and obviously you might be watching this on record, so you can watch the video later. Those of us who don't have that, and we're at home, oh, lots of messages, that's lovely. Um, then we are going to be doing this in our daily routine at home. Back to our squats, down we go. Now I'd like to, oh, that's a nice one there. I missed one, that looked like a good emoji. As we rise this time, lift your heels off the floor, down you come. So it's an inhale, little lift, whoop, and down you go. Good work. That's it, nice and smooth. So my dog's around somewhere. She'll probably come and join us. When I lie down, she'll probably come and get involved. And if you're on my Facebook group, uh, Get Fit With Tessa, you'll have seen the photo of her helping me do my practicing yesterday. She was showing me how to do side leg raises very nicely, I thought. And again, one more time. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, here come those balances. So remember, you can always hold on to something. So over here, I've got the fireplace and I can use that to give me a bit of support. So don't feel you have to be very wobbly, you don't. And this is a class for everybody, so some of us might find balancing really tricky. So for you, just come onto your toe, and down. Then once you've got your toe, maybe try a tiny lift, then pop it down again. Balancing is something that I'm very keen on. Not because I want to go across Niagara floor falls on a rope or anything, just because balance is one of those very important skills that we lose, especially as we get older, and some medications can upset our balance. So it's very good to work on our balance. It's one of those skills you've got to keep at. You can't just expect it to be there. Good, lovely. Relax your shoulders back and down. Gonna go to side bend. So we did those yesterday. Tummy's on. Hi, someone sent me a lovely love heart. Thank you. Side to side. And you'll notice my hips are staying still, and all the movements come in my upper body. So side to side. How's it going, Zara? Zara's home from school, as a lot of children are. And hopefully you did your Joe Wicks workout this morning. And then a little bit of Pilates around about 11 with me. Perfect. We're all going to be so fit. Two more to go. One more. Good. Okay, back to our squats again. Breathe in. Down you go. Remember, we're going to lift onto those toes if you want to. Little lift. 
So I'll just show you sideways. My bottom's sticking right back, so I'm not tempted to do that kind of squat, because all that's going to do is hurt your knees. So sitting right back. That's it. Lovely lift. One more time. Up we come. Good. Here comes the balance. So shift your weight across. Up comes one leg. And down. And I spoke yesterday, you want to make it harder, you can always stand on a cushion. So if you want to make it really tricky, then have a go at that. Who else have we got here? Oh, more people have joined us. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. Breathe. I was saying to someone, I found my first class this morning, we were doing top tips. And one of the top tips that I found yesterday, we had some grapes in the fridge that we bought a while ago and they were kind of on the turn, weren't very nice to eat as they were. But um, I looked it up and you can freeze grapes. So I put them in a bag, froze them. They are excellent little treats. You could do it if you've got them, Zara, couldn't you? But for adults too, you freeze them and then you suck them and kind the of skins come off and they're like, like grape sorbet. They're excellent, good way to use fruit that perhaps and bananas are great frozen as well if you slice them put them on a tray uh, if you find that you don't want to throw it out obviously but maybe it's past its best um gin and growers have quite a lot of fruit if you're looking for fruit well they did the other day one more excellent okay so here comes our side bends so perhaps you might want to make it a bit harder this time hand behind your head this time possibly down we go now what i want you to feel is a big old stretch down your side so if you're not feeling that stretch, just have a little go at lifting the elbow a bit more. So I get to there and I kind of lift it just a bit and I can really feel that stretch. Two more, one more. Oh, well done, my shirt's rising up over the place. Good work, everybody. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of mobilization for our shoulders. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Bring your hands up nice and high. So they're in front of your face. Take a breath in and pull your elbows down. Then up we go again. So it's an exhale. Now this is making a shape called a V, W. Yes, V and W. So you should feel that V shape as your arms go. Remember they're in front of your face. W, they come back and down. And I, said, I think we might have done this one yesterday. This is a great one if you've got, if you've got really stiff shoulders. And lots of people I know are still beavering away at their jobs on their computers at home. And a lot of our desks at home are not really good positions, they're not the right height, our chairs aren't the right height, so we're getting quite uncomfortable backs. So this is a good little move to do. Arms come out nice and wide, and then we're gonna tuck our chin and sweep through, back you come, tuck in, and back you come. Two more, lovely, and one more. Fantastic, give yourself a little shake hand. Okay, super. Now we're gonna have a look at our feet now. Can you see my feet? Can I come a little bit closer? Right, don't worry, you can't see my head. Feet, we're gonna do a little bit of work on our feet. Now this is a challenge for everybody. Standing nice and tall, look down at your toes. Can you lift just your big toes? Can you see mine? Pop them down. Can you lift all the other toes but not the big toes? And then let's do it again, lift the big toes. Oh, her mouth cracked, down it go. Lift all the other toes. Now, if your feet are just doing nothing, you can help. So, lift your big toes. Lift the little toes. You're kind of saying to the body, this is what I want you to do. Let's do that again. So, lift your big toes. Then the little toes. Now, all the other toes. This does seem a bit bizarre. There's a lot of feet Pilates you can do. Believe me, hours of it. We're not going to do hours. Um, but this is a good way to strengthen the foot. So quite a lot of us wear shoes the whole time. Let's do big toe on your right foot, other toes on your left. Oh, oh, oh. change over. Big toe on your left foot, other toes on your right. Oh, did it work? Oh. And then let's lift them all. Stretch them, stretch, stretch, stretch your fingers as well. Stretch, 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 stretch. Ah, oh, release. Good. So, um, yes, working through your feet because we wear shoes a lot of the time, most of the time, in fact, as adults. And it's not good, the feet don't get to move. Right, we're going to go to roll downs now. So my glasses will probably fall off. Roll down is when we curl our body down towards our feet and then we come up again. Do me a favour everybody, if you suffer with dizziness, please don't do this bit. I want you to stay 
with that balancing. Everybody else, breath in. Tuck your chin and start to head down towards your feet. See if you can relax your head and shoulders. Get yourself as low as you possibly can. Maybe give your shoulders a dangle, a little shake about, and then up we come. Nice and steadily, all the way up. Shoulders back and relaxed. And we're going to do the same thing again. Breath in. Now, as I'm going down, I'm pulling my belly in and I'm pushing my spine back. I'm trying to think, it's like a dinosaur that has fins down its back. Anyone remember what they're called? Zara, you'll know what they're called. Are they called, it's not a triceratops, is it? That's the one with the, which everyone's got the fins down its back. Push your spine backwards so that you are really curving your back. If anyone remembers what that dinosaur's called, type it on the screen for me. Up we come, push the spine back, bring yourself up all the way up, roll your shoulders, and we're gonna do the same thing, but now we're gonna go a bit more quickly. So when we go quick, more quickly, just be careful you're still pulling in your tummies. Nice soft knees, breath in, down we go, to the floor, up you come, and again, down we go, up you come. Good, and again, I think my music's a bit too quiet. I'm not sure you can hear it at all. That's it, okay, down we go. Up you come. One more time, down we go. Up you come. Beautiful, give yourself a shake. Have a little drink of your drink, and we're gonna go down to the floor. I'm gonna have a drink of my drink as well. I struggled too, Nikki. Man, that was hard. Do you think it was, Nikki? Yeah, so you can talk to each other, you can see each other's comments on here. <laughs> Zara, I bet you didn't struggle, Zara. Okay, so onto the floor now. Um, I put my mat, hopefully you can see most of me. I know I was a bit washed out in the last one, wasn't I? So, we're gonna do a bit on the floor. If I can just turn the screen just a little bit. Good, so onto your backs, everybody. And onto your back, oh, someone else has commented. The toe lifting one I can't do. I know, Nikki, it's really tricky. You need to practise. So onto your backs, everybody, down we go. Okay, I want you to relax your shoulders and bring both legs up into your chest. So you've got them in above your belly button, really. Breathe in, take one foot down to the floor, tap it, bring it back. Then the other one, foot goes down, tap it, bring it back. And so what we're doing here is we're working our abdominal muscles as well as our leg muscles. If you find it a bit too easy, what I want you to do is push your legs forward a bit till we get to a position we call tabletop in Pilates. It means your legs should look like a table. There's the leg of the table, that bit is the top of the table. Take a breath in, tap your foot down, bring it back. Now what often happens with this, and I can feel my body doing it, I'm getting a bit tense in my upper body. So relax your arms out, and we're gonna work at just controlled movement, nice and steady. Those who find it easy, perhaps you'll take your leg a bit further away. Mine's reaching out of camera, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking my heel towards the floor, and then back it comes. Breathe. What about those tummy muscles? Are we working them? Oh, three more. Two more. One more. Excellent. Have a little rest. Give your knees a hug into chest. Roll them around. Roll them back the other way. And pop your feet to the floor. Good stuff, everybody. We're going to do our pelvic tilt and bridge. I think we did that yesterday on Monday. So arms are relaxed down beside you. All out to your side. Doesn't matter. Breath in. And we're going to push our back into the floor. And then return. So imagine you're squashing one of my frozen grapes before they were frozen. Don't do it with a frozen one. So imagine there's a grape under here, under your back there, and we're gonna squash it and then release. Now for some of us who've got quite tight lower backs, this might be a bit uncomfortable. So just keep it gentle. Those of you who find it quite easy, I want you to add something. I want you to see if you can bring one leg or even both legs up, so I'll do it with one, and you do the same thing, little tilt, and can you see if this leg's moving, but just a little bit, if I do it with two, same thing, 
little tilt, ooh, and a release. I like this track. It's a nice one. It's called Sunshine. That's it. Push it back in. One more. Oh, good. Give your knees a little hug in, everybody. Very, very well done. So we're going to do a bridge now. So we start with our feet on the floor. I've got a gap between my knees, about that much gap. We're going to take a breath in, push your back into the floor, lift your hips up till you get yourself in a bridge. Bum squeezing. Breath in, roll down, all the way down. Have a little rest. We're going to go again. Breathe in, back into the floor. Now, again, for some of us this might be really uncomfortable. If it is, just take a breather. You don't have to do it. And then down we go again, rolling through the back. Good work. And again, pelvic tilt. Draw yourself up. Now, for those of you who want a little bit extra challenge, I know some of you do. Heel off the floor, pop it down. Other heel off the floor, pop it down. Try not to rock too much. You want to keep your hips lovely and still. One more. Good. Roll your back down. Oh, and bring your knees into chest. So if you're watching this and maybe you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do it, but I can't go to the floor, then I have got a seated class, an exercise seated class that we do on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And that one's, if I can remember the time, that's the morning, nine o'clock. So if you fancy coming joining us for that, then you can do feet to the floor, arms out wide for me, knees and feet touching. And then we're gonna slowly take the legs one way into the middle and the other way, side to side, smoothly, try to breathe, very gently, you can rock your head side to side, so I'm going to look one way, then I'm going to look the other way, so it's a lovely smooth movement, trying your best to keep those tummy muscles working. Good. Give me two more. One more. Bad. Everything into the middle. Give me these a hug. I'm going to come up to sitting. The nicest way to come up, I think, is hold the backs of your legs and kick yourself up. Have a drink, everybody. Have a little breather. Oh, I'll come and join you again. So, oh, what's that we like? We like, we like banana ice cream. Oh, Rachel, have you got a recipe for banana ice cream? <laughs> Oh, the dog's barking. Boo! Why are you barking? Oh dear. Okay. I don't know why she's barking. I'm going to shut the door in her a sec. Shut up! Oh, it's Jack. <laughs> it's okay. My son's just got out of bed and terrified the dog. I think it's because it's before 12. Um, right. So, um, we are now going to continue. And this time we're going to do some stuff on our hands and knees. Again, if your knees are a little bit tender, you might want to put a pillow or something underneath them. Um, but I think the rest of us will be okay. So, onto your hands and knees, everybody. And you're going to look like a little pony. So, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm going to turn this way so I can see you better. Okay. And all I want you to do for the first thing is take your hand off the floor and pop it down. Then your other hand. Good. So, just do it side to side. So did you see Sam Jacks just got up? <laughs> I'm sure he was up late. That's it, nice and controlled. And then if you want to make it harder, take that arm up beside your head and back. Now this looks dead easy until you realise you're meant to keep your back, hello boo, you're meant to keep your back still. So don't rock. Hands are still, now then we're going to do our legs, so knee lift, very gently, bring it back, other knee lift. So what's happening here is we are strengthening our stomach muscles, our back muscles, bit of arm work as well. Okay, and to make that one harder, lengthen the leg. Make sure you don't wall up anybody in the face if someone's working out with you. I just kicked the sofa. So nice and controlled, good, okay, now give your wrist a little shake because it does make the wrist a bit uncomfortable, give it a twirl around, 
This time, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn my mouth slightly. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to do arms and legs at the same time. <laughs> so Sam's just saying he's popped up, sending me pictures of the cat. Yes, we got Boo a lovely new bed, and the cats have basically taken it over. <laughs> She's not allowed back in it. The cats have taken it. Okay, so hands and knees. Take a big breath in. Opposite hand and leg. So just start with a little movement. Now this is when it gets a little bit more tricky, everybody. So I hope you're focusing, staring at the mat. And those of you who want that extra challenge, let's see if we can lift the arm and leg higher. Ooh. Now usually when I teach this in class, it goes very quiet. Everybody stops breathing normally. Now I want you to breathe. So take a big breath in. Exhale. And again. Now we talked about before that Pilates is all about lengthening. So I want you to lengthen your arm and leg. Kind of like a ballet dancer. So the ballet dancer puts their arm in the air. They just don't go. They lengthen. It's lengthening. So see if you can do that for me. I'm pretending I can see you. Obviously I can't see you. <laughs> Good. Keep that going for me. I'm sure it's looking wonderful. Sit back. Give those fists a little shake out. Okay, so I've got one more challenge on this one. We'll see how we get on. So what we're going to do, just watch for a minute maybe. We're going to get ourselves up in this balance. Then we're going to tap the floor. And then we're going to open the arm and the leg slightly to the side. So I'll just show you forwards. Okay, so we're going to tap the arm and leg down. We're going to bring them up. And then we're going to open them slightly out to the side. So I'm not opening them at miles. It's probably about that far. Try not to let the chest move at the same time. Let's give it a go. So back to the first easier thing. So back to the first one, we're just going to do the opposite taps. And you know, I said easier. It's not easy, is it? So if you found it, find this tricky, you know, don't, don't, don't make it harder. Stick with the easier option. Those who want to try harder, Sam, I know you will. Arm and leg, extend them out. Nikki, I'm sure you can do this. Even though your balance might be a bit affected, you can do this nice and controlled. Okay, let's see if we can tap down, up, and then open out, back in and down. How is that? Let's do it again. Up we go. Tap down and up, open out, and back. And let's all sit back, child's pose. So all of that head on the floor, arms down beside you. Ooh. Have a little rest there. Good work, everybody. Okay, so we've only got a few more minutes left of the class. It always goes so quickly. So the last bit is we'll do sitting up. So if you could sit up and sit facing me, and uh, we're gonna sit with our legs right out in front. Now the thing with sitting with our legs out front is that quite often we sort of slouch like that. And I want you not to do that. So I need you to bring yourselves up really tall, you can see my feet, I think the camera's a bit skew with, it's not my room that's skew with, sit lovely and tall for me, um, and you should think, oh that's quite hard work, pull your heels, push your heels away, pull your toes, I need to come back a bit, pull your toes towards your shin, I hope my feet aren't dirty, they're not clean that's for sure, so pull those toes back, so if I show you sideways, we're sitting really straight and we're putting our toes back towards our shins. I do it diagonally, there we go. Okay, so lovely and tall for me. Take a breath in. Exhale and relax your feet. Now we're gonna tuck our chin, we're gonna lean forward. Now, some of you will be able to get your heads near to your knees. I can't do that. I'm just gonna go as low as I can. So I'm gonna relax forward. Now, for a lot of us at this point, our hamstring muscles, the backs of our legs, start to scream gently, quiet. If you listen, you can probably hear mine. The backs of the legs are hurting, but it's a stretch. So as long as it's a stretching sensation rather than pain, you, you carry on. So relax your head and shoulders, let the body sink forward. Now I can feel that stretch from my backs of my heels, through my calves, slightly through the back of the knees, certainly the back of the thighs and my bottom. Some of you might find it in your back a bit more, maybe more in your shoulders. Bring yourselves back up, shoulders back and relax. Good, breathe in again. And again, down we go. Lean yourselves forwards. 
Bring your arms out in front this time, and I want you to drift towards your fingertips. Bring yourself back, and then roll yourself. That sounds like my music's finished, never mind. Oh no, stop again. Tuck your chin, roll it forwards. Arms out, stretch towards your toes. Bring yourself back, up you come. Good, couple more times, down we go. So this class is 30 minutes long. And we're almost coming to the end of it. But we're also going to have a little bit of relaxation at the end of it today. So if you want to stay on for a little bit longer to do the relaxation, then you are very, very welcome. Um, almost finished, guys. So sitting tall, bring the soles of your feet together, shoulders back and relax, arms down by your side. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, down we go. And again, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, down to go. Fantastic. Good. Very, very well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still trying to work out the best way to film, so bear with me. Um, so it's now, yeah, just about 30 minutes since we started. How are we all feeling? Say hello, Boo. Do you come say hello? No. Um, everyone okay? Did we enjoy it? Here comes the dog. Come on, Boo. Come say hello to everybody. Come on, no, don't clap. Oh, she's collapsed on the floor. What are you doing down there? Um, so, let me just move so you can see Boo. Look, here we go. There's Boo. Hey, Boo, what are you doing? Hey, just fl flopped on the floor, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go to relaxation bit now. For the relaxation part of it. Oops, sorry, let's get with. Great class, thank you, Suzanne. So what we're going to do is we're going to have five minutes where you're going to lie on the floor or sit up, leaning up against something, we're just going to be quiet and calm. We're going to take some lovely deep breaths. And I want you to really think about the breathing. Um, you know, we've all got a lot of stresses, maybe more now than usual. And breathing can really help de-stress. So we're going to do that um, square or box breathing that we did before. So what I want you to do is relax, just sitting tall. Take a breath in nice and slowly. Hold it. Exhale it. Hold it. Good. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Hold it. Good. One more time. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Hold it. Hello, Lynn. You came back from one of your jobs. Did you get your prescription? More to the point. Hello, Terry. Oh, I'm glad you're really enjoying the sessions. I am as well. So a couple more breathes, breathing sessions. So breathe in. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Good. So we're going to have a few minutes now just lying quietly or sitting quietly. See if you can have a go at that breathing. If you can hold it, if each of your sides of the square, so the inhale, hold, exhale, hold, can be four seconds, then you're doing really, really well. But if it's shorter, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. I want you to lie back, close your eyes, and you're going to lie on the floor, and you should look like you're dead. So arms out wide, palms facing up, legs apart. It's called the corpse pose in yoga. So that's what we're going to go for. So get yourselves there and we're just going to have a few moments. Make sure I don't fall asleep. We could be here all day. And um, we'll have maybe five minutes of relaxation. So onto your mats, everybody. Oh, you're going to do the class later, Lynn. Good idea. You can do it later because it'll be a video recorded in my videos. Hiya, Paula. Oh, you're back. Good to have you back. Right, lie yourselves down then, everybody. Okay, so if you find straight legs is uncomfortable, just have your knees together and your legs out wide, your feet out wide, and let's relax. Slow, deep breaths. Each time you exhale, allow your face to soften. The muscles relaxing. You're letting the breathing come slowly and steadily. On the inhale, your ribs rise, the belly lifts too, everything expands and lifts. 
Then as you exhale, let the body sink, sinking down into the mat, softening the body, ready for that lovely big inhale again. Well done everybody. Very gently we're going to start bringing ourselves back into the room. So taking your time, give your fingers and your toes a little wriggle, wrists and ankles a little twizzle round. And then when you're ready, gently raise up your knees, popping your feet on the floor. And you might want to give your knees a little hug, perhaps have a little rock side to side, or maybe another stretch. Then in your own time, roll over onto one side, gently push yourself up to sitting. Once you're up to sitting, oh, have a little stretch out. Oh, it doesn't matter how you sit, so cross legs, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna have another breath in. So breathe in, reach up. Exhale. And again, breathe in, reach up. And exhale. Fantastic. Very, very well done, everybody. Super, super class. So don't forget, we've got this again on Friday. And on Friday, I'll be rejigging the timetable for next week, seeing how what people want. So if there's something you particularly want or maybe a time slot that would suit you much better, tell me. Yeah, if I'll do my best to accommodate. Can't promise, but I'll do my best. But don't forget, you can always watch these videos later because they are on my Facebook page. And I'm currently in the process of sorting out my YouTube channel so they'll all be available on there as well. Um, and uh, I'll try and get them onto my website too. So there's lots of stuff. But don't forget, there's loads and loads of providers out there doing super, super stuff fitness-wise. There's all the famous guys like Joe Wicks. Um, but you also find that a lot of gyms and health clubs and ind individuals are out there doing Facebook Lives. Um, and you can search on Facebook for whatever go is going on live at the time. Um, you'll have to Google it because I, I can't remember how, but there is a way so you can see all over the world people are doing stuff in their homes to entertain and to exercise and to make us feel better. Look at the breathing stuff if you're feeling anxious and the relaxation stuff um, because there's lots of support out there. Have a lovely day, get out in that sunshine when you're allowed to and um, I will see you again later today. If you're coming back later today, we've got a six o'clock high intensity aerobic -y type thing and um, if not, we've got this again on Thursday, Friday. Losing track of the days. Have a good day, everybody. See you all soon. Bye.